They say greyhounds are like potato chips. You can't just have one. Greyhounds started for me in 2016. I knew that there was a chance I'd be going to medical school and I would need a companion. Well, we went down to PetSmart and I met the first Greyhound and it was love at first sight. If there's a, such a thing, I was like, this is the dog for me. Greyhounds are the considered or thought to be the oldest known breed about 5,000 years back originating in Egypt. They're the fastest dog, second fastest land animal, second to the cheetah. They can um, reach speeds of 45 miles an hour in six strides. They're known as the 45 mile an hour couch potato because they sleep about 18 hours a day. As a whole breed, they have specific characteristics that maybe other dogs display from time to time, but greyhounds are very consistent. They lean. I have a couple leaners. They also roach, and it's called roaching because it's kind of like a dead roach that's upside down. <laughs> then there's the cool factor of them being racing dogs. So yeah, it started off with two, and then I got Thunder, my Doberman. So I had three dogs. People thought it was kind of crazy then. But then I got my two other greyhounds, and then I kept a couple family dogs for a while. <sighs> and then I recently rescued two more Doberman puppies. So. All in all, right now, I have eight, eight dogs. And when I tell people that, they, they actually do think I'm crazy. My, one of my best friends actually said, okay, Diane, that's enough. <laughs> when I first got accepted to medical school, it was a difficult summer because my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was supposed to travel out with me. And I failed every part of the very first exam. So I repeated first year and it went really well. Then in second year, every now and then it would come up how tired I was all the time. I had fallen asleep during every exam in medical school except one. So I took a leave. A couple of sleep studies, was diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia. So with that background, I started third year. I was getting ready to start my second clerkship when Flash fell ill. So I took off the clerkship which seems dramatic for a dog's, uh, the loss of a dog, but I, I needed that time. Then in April, I was having dinner with a friend. My phone was on mute. We got out of the restaurant, I checked my phone and I'd missed like eight calls. A couple from mom, six from my brother. So I called back and my brother was the one who answered and he told me that they were doing chest compressions on my dad and it was very bad. So I lost my, my dad, my amazing dad, at age 66. And by the grace of God, I can honestly say that I had not and have still not been angry or questioned God or asked why. One thing that he's taught me through this whole medical school journey is I don't need to understand why. I'm still so humbled that that was that's my seat in medical school and that that'll be my my chair at graduation after 6 years. God has showered me with so many blessings and the greyhounds have been one of the biggest as far as my companionship and constant source of of love and connection that I could always count on when I come home. Yeah, dogs are very special. Greyhounds are even more special.